Let's take a look at simplifying some expressions using the distributive property. Anytime we look at an expression that we're asked to simplify and we see parentheses, into our heads immediately should pop the distributive property. The distributive property allows us to get rid of those parentheses by simply multiplying through whatever is in front or sometimes it's behind those parentheses but whatever is being multiplied by that thing inside the parentheses. So let's take a look at this first one. We have 44x minus, in parentheses, the quantity 39x plus 31. All right, we want to get rid of those parentheses, so we're going to distribute through the thing that's being multiplied by that quantity. And that, in this case, we have this minus. Well, there's really a minus 1, or a negative 1, so we can just fill that in there if we'd like. And we're going to distribute that negative 1 through by multiplying it by each term that's inside those parentheses. So let's go ahead and do so. We bring down the 44x, we're not going to do anything with that. Then minus 1 times 39x gives us negative 39x. Then minus 1 times plus 31 gives us negative 31. Now, we've gotten rid of the parentheses so we can combine like terms to simplify. Like terms are things that have either the same variables or lack of variables. In this case, we have two x terms. We have this 44x and we have a minus 39x. We can combine those and if you want to think about it this way, you can think about it as we have 44x's in one pile. We're taking away 39x's. How many x's do we have left? Well, 44 minus 39 leaves us with 5x's. 5x. Then we bring down this minus 31 because there are no other constant terms to combine it with so that just comes right on down. This is simplified because this has the variable x and this does not so we can't combine those. So we're all done with that one. Let's take a look at this next one. 5c plus 7d minus 8 times the quantity 2c minus 5d. Okay, we've got those parentheses, so we're going to use the distributive property. This 5c and 7d, there's no distributing going on there, so we're just going to bring that right on down. So we have this. Then, we'll keep that minus with the 8. We're going to distribute a negative 8 through to each term inside the parentheses here. So we have negative 8 times 2c, which is going to give us negative 16c. Then negative 8 times negative 5d, keep that minus with the thing that follows it. So negative 8 times negative 5d gives us positive 40d. Then it's back to combining like terms. We're looking for things that have the same variables. Well, we've got a c term here, 5c, and a negative 16c. We can combine those. We have 5 C's, we're taking away 16 C's. That means we're 9 C in the negatives. Then we look at the D's. We have 7 D's here, 40 D's here. Combine those, 7 plus 7 D's plus 40 D's gives us a total of 47 D. Now, we look at this. This has a C, this has a D different variables so we can't combine and simplify anything more so we're done that's in simplest form let's take a look at this next one we've got two sets of parentheses here so we're gonna have to apply the distributive property twice first of all we're gonna start out we're gonna distribute this 11 through this first one so we're gonna take 11 times 4y which gives us 44y then 11 times negative 8, remember keep that sign with it, negative 8, so we get minus 88. Then next one, we've got this minus 7, remember to keep that sign with it, minus 7 times 8, and then we're going to do minus 7 times negative 2y. So minus 7 times 8 is negative 56. Then minus 7 times Negative 2y is going to give us a positive. Remember, negative, negative gives us a positive. Positive 14y. Now we get to combine like terms again. So, first of all, we have 
a Y term here, 44 Ys, and we've got 14 Ys over here. Combine those together, 44 Ys plus 14 Ys gives us a total of 58 Y. Then we've got two constant terms. Remember, constant terms are terms that don't have any variables. We have minus 88 and minus 56. Well, we're 88 in the negatives, and we're going down another 56 into the negatives. So let's go ahead and uh, add those up to see what we get. Negative 88. We can do it on our calculator if we'd like. Throw a negative on there. Minus 56 gives us we're 144 in the hole 100 negative 144 so minus 144 now we're done because this has a variable this does not we can't combine terms that don't have the same variables or lack thereof let's look at this last one again we have two sets of parentheses so we're going to apply the distributive property twice on this first one we have a 4 we're gonna multiply it by the minus 5x and we're also gonna multiply 4 by 4 so 4 times negative 5x gives us negative 20 x then 4 times 4 and that's a positive 4 so they're both positive so we have plus 16 then we've got this minus sign in here remember if it's just a minus sign we'll call that a minus 1. We're going to distribute a minus 1 through to each piece inside this parentheses. So minus 1 times 2y is negative 2y. Then minus 1 times negative 3. Negative times a negative gives us positive, so plus 3. Now combine like terms. We've got an x and we've got a y. We can't combine those because they're different variables. So those are just going to come right on down. So let's just rewrite them. Negative 20x. And then we've got the minus 2y. What else do we have? We've got a plus 16 and a plus 3. Well, plus 16. So 16 plus 3 is 19. So plus 19. That's all the more we can simplify because we've got different variables or no variable. So that's in simplest form. Hopefully this was helpful in helping you understand how to simplify expressions using the distributive property. Remember, this, the distributive property simply allows us to take whatever's being multiplied by something in parentheses and multiply it by each piece inside the parentheses to get rid of them. Good luck.